Joe, would you step out here a minute? What do you want, Herbie? Uh, look up there, Billy. It's mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do this time? I got kissed. <laughs> well, it sure was annoying. Billy Joe. It's Christmas, Mom. Oh, all right. Start getting our Christmas stuff together in the back room. Floyd and Charlie will be along in a minute now. Okay. I'll help you, Billy Joe. Oh, that kid. Stealing a kiss right out here in the store. Oh, Sam, it's Christmas. Remember when you were a boy? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't a boy any longer, Kate. But if I understand this custom of kissing under the mistletoe, there ain't any particular age limit on who can Sam, and who can. you talk too much. <laughs> what happened, Mr. Drucker? I got kissed. <laughs> Kids, all three of you. We got a lot of work to do before dark. Boy, I'll say we have. We got Christmas baskets to pack and presents to wrap and carols to rehearse. And a tree to cut and mice to string. And a sleigh and reindeer to touch up. And the whole Hooterville cannonball to decorate. <laughs> from under this track? Oh, we burn the loose ones, Charlie. If you keep taking up the tires, what's going to hold the rails down? Well, the train's pretty heavy, even without you. <laughs> now, I'll tell you where there's some ties loose, in your head. Oh, that's a stupid, Charlie. I don't take up enough to hurt anything. You've been a saying that for years, and one of these days we're going to find ourselves out there plowing up them fields with our cow catcher. Gee whiz, Charlie, don't be yelling at me so close to Christmas. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Floyd, but you got to admit that Christmas Eve would be a mighty poor time for the cannonball to run off the track. All decorated up, carrying a trainload of carol singers and presents and all. Speaking of presents, what do you got over there in that big package with my name on it? That's a rubber crowbar, so as you can't pry up no more loose ties. Smoke <laughs> on that fire and let's highball it. Why, we might even be on time today. Curtis, what about it? An inspection trip at Christmas time? I'd be glad to work on Christmas, New Year's, any day, if it's for the good of the CNFW Railroad. Oh, now look, Bedlow, I realize you're trying to regain your position as vice president, but nobody expects you to work at Christmas. Well, that's just it. They won't be expecting me. Well, who is they? Do you know of some particular violation of CNFW rules? Yes, I do. And I understand it goes on every year at this time. Well, who is it? What is it? Where? Oh, Mr. Curtis, uh, I think in all fairness, I shouldn't name names or places until I make an on-the-spot personal inspection. Well, speaking as president of the railroad, I've got to admire your devotion to the company. But speaking personally, I think you're a nut. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, that report will be on your desk the day after Christmas. Would you please come in, Miss Evans? Merry Christmas, Miss Evans. Mr. Curtis. Did I actually see a smile and, and hear a Merry Christmas from old Scrooge? I mean, Mr. Bedlow? You did. And heaven help Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim, whoever they may be. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey, fellas. 
Lewis, where's the rest of the train? <laughs> hey, Charlie, we lost the coach. I can see that, Floyd. Did you fix that coupler like I told you? Let's see now, did I or didn't I? Let me think. Just back up and get the coach. We gotta decorate this whole train before dark. Wait a minute, it's coming back to me. Yeah, I didn't fix it. <laughs> How come the air brakes didn't stop us if you connected the air hose? Let's see now, did I or didn't I? You didn't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Well, you kept hurrying me, Charlie. Fellas, please, back this thing up and get the coach. Calm down, Sam. We're back in. Where's the train going? Oh, Floyd forgot to fix the coupler and connect the air hose, and they lost the coach. Poor Floyd. He always gets so excited around Christmas. Slow her down, Charlie. We're almost to it. I can see it too, Smokehead. Okay, Floyd, hook up the air hose. Let's get back to Sam. Hurry up, Floyd! Charlie, I'm trying to break you a burning railroad tie. That one was just laying there, begging to be burned. Well, it's like any other habit, Floyd. If you're gonna break it, you got to go cold turkey, no tapering off. <laughs> Charlie, sometimes you treat me like a six-year-old child. Sometimes you act like a six-year-old child, which just shows you can be intelligent when you try. <laughs> Well, you missed it. It was due through here two or three hours ago. Don't tell me it runs on schedule now. Well, it does today. You see, the boys have got to get the train out to the shady rest so Kate and the girls can decorate it tonight, but... Well, I'll be doggone. This is the first time in 14 years it's been late on Christmas Eve. And it'll be the last. Charlie, that looked like Mr. Bedlow back at the station. What would he be doing here Christmas Eve? Maybe he brought us a present. <laughs> Lord, you are really in bad shape today. <laughs> I thought they'd never get back. Well, hurry up, everybody. Well, you go ahead. I'll lock up. Mister, unless you like pumping a hand car, you better start running for that train. I don't like pumping and I don't like running. What about your taxi? Well, it can't run on the railroad track and that's the only road. Now, the hand car is right over there. I'm not pumping any hand car. <laughs> Mister, have a nice trip and a Merry Christmas. Ah, humbug! <laughs> Decorations out of here. Billy Joe, you go on up and get tell your sisters and Uncle Joe to get down here on the double and help us. All right, Mom. I'll go help her tell them. Hurry up, boy. It's gonna get dark on it. Now, Sam, don't you start yelling at me like Charlie's been doing. It makes me nervous and I forget things. 
All right, Floyd, open the door. Charlie yelling at me and made me forget to fix the coupling. Made me forget to connect the air holes. Floyd, nobody's yelling. Made me forget something else, too. Now I forget what it is. Doggone it. <laughs> now I remember. That's, sounds like a cow's in there. Yeah, I was supposed to leave it off at Lon Hawker's place. Christmas present for his wife. <laughs> Lloyd Smoot, we were supposed to deliver that cow someplace. Now, where? You yelled at me again, Charlie. Now, I forget. The Lon Hawker's place. That's right, Floyd. See? To Ludy with love from Lon. Here's wishing you a white Christmas. White Christmas. Milk. Get it? <laughs> Lloyd, you are the dumbest ash cat that ever shook a grape. I need an ash cat now, Charlie. I'm a baggage wrestler. <laughs> well, wrestle that cow out of the way and give us the decorations. Charlie, hadn't we ought to take this cow back over to Lon's place? We ain't got time now. Charlie, please don't yell at him. You'll forget where he put the decorations. <laughs> uh, Floyd, would you please start handing things out to us? You bet. But Charlie and Sam will have to help you with this cow. <laughs> cow, Floyd. <laughs> Maybe Betty will find him upstairs. Oh, Herbie, will you put these under the tree for us? We've got to find Uncle Joe. Uh, uh, Billy, uh, look up there. It's Christmas. Again? <laughs> no, it's still the same Christmas. Uh, just different mistletoe. I've been trying to find you up for half this Santa Claus outfit. Did you get the train all decorated? No, we haven't even started. Maybe I better go back and look some more. Uncle Joe. <laughs> Mom wants you. Get out of the train. There's work to do. It's getting late. I've got a lot of work to do on this beard. It's in bad shape. But Mr. Drucker got a brand new one. Midler. <laughs> Betty, we found him. Come on down to the train. Okay. We'll see you down the train, Mr. Carson. Okay, I'll be there right away. Where did Floyd put the light bulbs? No telling, Kate. You'll find him around back of the train. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Floyd <laughs> smoke. We got a train to decorate and Christmas carols to rehearse, and here you sit milking a cow. You needed milking, Kate. You wouldn't want her bawling right in the middle of silent night. <laughs> We're not going to take her along on the train when we go caroling. I don't see any other way to get her over to Lon Hawker's place in time for Christmas. Well, all right. Finish up as quick as you can. <laughs> hey, Sam, you hear you got me a new Santa Claus beard? Yeah. What do you mean, you? I'm Santa Claus this year. You was Santa Claus last year. I was not. Floyd was. Well, what about the year before? That was Pixley Fats. See? It's my turn this year. Well, you can forget it. I got the suit. Not the top half, you ain't. <laughs> so you're the one that hid that. I didn't hide it. I took it home to have my landlady let it out to fit me. I will hand it over. I gotta get dressed. Where's my beard, Sam? Uh, I gave it to Kate. Kate! Kate! Oh, please, fellas, don't make a big thing about who plays Santa Claus. We haven't got time. What is it? Kate, who's gonna be Santa Claus, me or this greasy hog head? Uncle Joe, don't call Charlie that. Oh, that's just railroad talk for engineer. I don't care. I don't like it. All right, who's going to be Santa Claus, me or this greasy pig head? No. Kate, if you let me be Santa Claus, I'll promise you a big, fat gobbler for Christmas dinner. You're always here for Christmas dinner. <laughs> you got to care for some fresh milk? Uncle Joe, take this up and put it in the icebox. We'll decide about Santa Claus later. You decide all you want, but I'm it. You got the patent for it, but it's on the wrong side. <laughs> Boys, let's get busy stringing up these lights on the train, huh? Where are the bulbs, Floyd? They're in the baggage car. See, when you don't yell at me, I can remember. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Betty 
Joe, you be careful up there. There's someone coming on a hand car from Hooterville. Hand car? Who is it? I can't tell for sure. It looks like Mr. Bedlow. Kate, Kate, look who's popping up the track to spend Christmas with us. My old buddy, Horror Bedlow. You see, Charlie, that was Mr. Bedlow we passed up at the Hooterville station. Oh, boy. <laughs> with that and pumping 20 miles on a hand car, he's going to be in a jolly mood. Just leave him to me. I don't need no help to handle Bedlow. Hey, what do you think you're doing to the property of the CNFW Railroad? We're decorating it for the annual Christmas carol sing, Mr. Bedlow. We go all the way across the valley singing and distributing gifts and baskets of food. It's a tradition, Mr. Bedlow. It was a tradition. Now start taking down those lights. Why? Violation of the CNFW rules and regulations. Well, how's old Homer Bedlow? Still looking for a way to get even with us for outsmarting you? No, not anymore. Ah, uh, that's the Christmas spirit. Put her there. Christmas present for me? <laughs> Homer, you shouldn't have done it. That's a legal writ empowering me to seize and hold this train. Homer, oui. you shouldn't have done it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Bedlow, you being an educated city man and all, uh, Bobby Joe thought you'd uh, like to hear that beautiful song in Latin. Very nice. Lovely voice, that girl. She might be able to support you after the hotel's closed down, now that the train's gone. You mean Betty Joe and Floyd got it away? Oh, no. You don't steal that train on me anymore. Even that clever little engineer daughter of yours can't run the cannonball without this throttle lever. <laughs> Monsieur Bedlow, you certainly are a brilliant man. <laughs> Billy Joe, more fruitcake for Mr. Bedlow. Uncle Joe, more eggnog. Herbie, hurry with Mr. Bedlow's shoes. Charlie, give Mr. Bedlow his cigar. Bobby Joe, let's sing another Christmas carol for Mr. Bedlow, this time in English. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Curtis. Yes? The pilot just returned from flying Mr. Bedlow to Hooterville, and he wanted to know if he'd be needing the plane. No, no, tell him to put... Hooterville? Bedlow went there? Yes, sir. He's going to inspect a cannonball, and he can find a thousand infractions. He is going to spoil Christmas for all those wonderful people. That mean, vengeful... Scrooge, sir? That's too good for Bedlow. Are <laughs> you be needing a plane then, sir? No, the helicopter. I've got to land close to Shady Rest if I'm going to stop him in time. <laughs> section hand on his railroad. <laughs> oh, boy. That's all we need now. Nutty Norman, the hobo. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Carson. You remember me, Norman Curtis? Yeah, that's the way I remember you with your hand out. Hungry as usual, I suppose. <laughs> well, I cut you some food, but first, do you have a Homer Bedlow here, the CNFW Railroad? Yeah. If you're looking for him to give you a job, you're out of luck. That guy's the original Mr. Me. What has he done? He grabbed the train, that's all. It's the end of the Hooterville Cannonball, the end of Shady Rest. 
And it's the end of your free handouts. Well, I'd like to talk to him alone. Send him in, will you? Can't you get it through your nutty noggin? Mr. Bedlow's a big shot. He ain't about to waste his time talking to a hobo. You tell him Norman P. Curtis wants him. He'll talk to me. Uncle, you hurry up with Mr. Bedlow's... Norman Curtis. Merry Christmas, Kate. Well, I I'm afraid this one isn't going to be a very merry one for us, but you get washed up and we can at least give you one good hot meal before we close down. You call to Mr. Bedlow? Oh, now it's Christmas Eve. I don't want to burden you with our troubles. From the looks of you, you got plenty of your own. Arson! Where's that guy? Coming right up, Mr. Bedlow, sir. I was delayed by this hobo coming to the door. Hobo! Come and rides in a C and W railroad, well? Right? No, no, sir, Mr. Bedlow. Well, see that you don't, buddy, because I'm. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Too much eggnog. I was afraid of that. I'll go get the bicarbonate. Uh, Kate. If you two will leave me alone with Mr. Bedlow, I think I know just how to straighten him out. <laughs> if anybody knows how to take care of a drunk, it's a hobo. <laughs> We can get started now. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> Thank goodness that argument between Charlie and Joe got settled with no bloodshed. Yeah, that's the best Santa Claus ever. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Be jolly, Bedlow. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Jollier. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. And a uh, Happy New Year! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> This has been a Filmways presentation.